Hello friends, Miss Rebecca here. This book is called Around the Pond, Who's Been Here? It's by Lindsay Barrett George. And my favorite thing about this book is that it gives us clues about certain animals that you might find around the pond. And then we have to see if we can tell which animal it wants us to know about. Okay. It is a warm and muggy afternoon in the summer. Cammy says William, Mom says if we pick enough blueberries, we can make a pie for dinner. Let's go, says Cammy. Cammie and her brother grab their berry containers and follow the old deer path that circles the pond. A dead sugar maple stands alone by the water's edge. White feathers are stuck to the bark around the hole. Who has been here? Do you know? Do you have a guess? Let's find out. Two baby wood ducks. So a mother wood duck laid her eggs in the hollow of this tree and she stuffed feathers down around them to keep them warm. And when they hatch, the ducklings, they'll stay in that hole in the tree for about one day and then they'll leap down and their parents will teach them how to hunt for food like insects and plants and fruits and nuts. Sam finds a stick. He wants someone to throw it. Not now, Sam, William says. We've got to pick blueberries. Their dog lies down on the soft sphagnum moss. William, look at this footprint, says Cammie. Who has been here? Do you know what animal made this print, this track in the earth? Do you have a guess? A baby raccoon. Raccoons will live in the shrubs around the water's edge. And at nighttime, they'll come out. They'll use their front paws to flip over rocks or reach their hand into the shallow water. And they'll be looking for mussels to eat or crayfish or frogs. And they also like nuts and berries, too. A tree has fallen across the path and into the pond. William dangles his feet in the water. He sees a shallow crater on the sandy bottom. Who has been here? Who has been here, do you know? It's a sunfish. And the male sunfish, he'll go to the sandy bottom and the shallow water, and he uses his tail to make a little dip, a little nest in the water. And if a female sunfish likes that nest, she will lay her eggs there. And then the male sunfish will fertilize the eggs and protect the nest. Cammie and William reach a patch of swamp azalea. They see a pile of branches and mud. Who has been here? You might know. This is one that I, I, I knew right away. Do you know? A beaver. A beaver. So a beaver builds a house out of sticks, mud, and stones. And that house is called a lodge. And this stick right here, I bet, is for patching up a leak in the wall of their lodge so the water can't get through. And the beaver, they like to eat bark off of trees and also other plants.
Let's see what our next clue is. Bits of broken shell lie on the sunny bank. The children stop to take a closer look. William picks up a piece of a shell. It feels soft. Who has been here? Hmm. Can you make a guess? A painted terrapin. Beautiful turtle. The painted terrapin, the mother will go in the sand near the edge of the water and dig a hole and she'll lay a clutch of eggs in that hole. And her clutch of eggs could have three eggs in it or maybe even 15. And then when the eggs hatch, the little turtles scurry down into the water. <laughs> and terrapins, they love to climb up on a rock or a log and sunbathe and feel the sun on their bodies. Cammy and her brother stop in front of a large blueberry bush and they pick and eat. Sam likes blueberries too. <laughs> I didn't know dogs like blueberries. Cammy points to a long filmy shape on the branches. Who has been here? Hmm, I have an idea. A garter snake. Oh, I see these quite often in my backyard, especially when I'm mowing and they'll run away from the lawnmower. They can grow as long as three feet long. That's about as tall as you are. And as they grow, they shed their skin. So they'll rub their bodies up against something rough, like a stump or a branch and the thin layer of dead skin will slide off of their bodies. And they do that a few times every year. Sam wades into the pond and takes a drink. A red winged blackbird scolds from a nearby branch. A large gray feather floats next to a lily pad. Who has been here? There's the large gray feather. And I wanted to show you, I have a large gray feather from the animal that they want us to know about. Do you know what kind of animal this beautiful feather comes from? A great blue heron, a great blue heron. And Blue herons look more gray than blue, actually, when you see them. And they will stand in the shallow water very still, looking for food. And finally, when they see a small fish or a frog or even a small snake, it will strike with its long, sharp bill. The pond is quiet and still. The afternoon sky turns pink. Let's go wading, says Cammie. The mud is soft and squishy. Look at all these mussel shells, says William. Who has been here? Hmm, who likes to eat mussels? Let's find out. An otter. Otters are very playful. They live in the land and the water and they might build their own den at a riverbank, but oftentimes they will find an old beaver lodge and take it over and live in there. <laughs> Less work for them, I guess. Cammy and William reach the dock. They have eaten most of their blueberries, but look, two full pails of berries are waiting for them. Who has been here? They know who. Their family. Come and join us, calls their father. And in they go, 
splash. <laughs> the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon, friends. Bye.